Well, it's September the 28th, and as I've predicted, if you have been watching my channel, nothing significant in terms of end time prophetic events have happened to support the four blood moons prophecy proclaimed by John Hagee and Mark Bills. An online article by Christianity Today from the beginning of this month entitled Blood Moon This September Could Be Biblical Sign of Apocalypse, pastors say, quotes Pastor Biltz as saying, The Great Earthquake from Revelation may take place in coming days. For those of you who may not know, this is a reference to the Great Earthquake in Revelation chapter 16 verse 18, which will be so enormous that it will basically crumble the cities of the world. This is to take place at the second coming of Jesus. Pastor Hagee was then quoted as saying, The upcoming blood moon, which appeared last night, points to dramatic events in the Middle East. Well, it's the day after the blood moon and none of these things have happened. That just goes to show that this is another false prophecy. That doesn't surprise me though, this had all the telltale signs of being a scam. The first one includes Mark Biltz and John Hagee claiming to have insight into the Bible that no one else has. The Bible calls that a private interpretation and states in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 20, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. The second sign that something was not right here was the fact that Mark Biltz and John Hagee were selling books and DVDs about their four blood moons prophecy. Here's a still shot of an offer from Mark Biltz when he appeared on Sid Roth's show called It's Supernatural. John Hagee also made a book and a movie about this blood moons nonsense, which did rather well. His book made it to the New York Times bestsellers list. Now, I'm not against purchasing reliable resources that help me gain a better understanding of the Bible and help me get closer to God, but to me, what Mark Biltz and John Hagee are doing is peddling an obvious fraud. Not to mention, if those books were so important and we only had a year or so left until the world comes to an end, why not just give them away? The money's not going to do them much good anyway. Moreover, as a student of Bible prophecy, I know that the four blood moons prophecy has nothing to do with the Bible. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about how the four blood moons tetrods work. I already did that in a previous video entitled Blood Moons 2015 End of the World Prophecy Debunked. I'll leave a link to that video in the card on the upper right hand corner of the screen and in the description box if you want to check it out. But the scriptures that Mark Biltz and John Hagee used to support their blood moons theory is about a completely different event. One of the scriptures they cite is from Acts chapter 2 verse 20, which states, The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. But this is only part of a succession of events that needs to take place before Jesus returns. These events take place during the opening of the sixth seal in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 through 14, which states, And I beheld, and he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. I explain what all of that means in my video entitled Prophecies of the End Time, Signs in the Heavens, and Blood Moons. A link is available in the card on the screen and in the description box. So make sure to check that out if you want more details. But rest assured, it has nothing to do with this blood moons theory that Mark Biltz and John Hagee are pushing. It's the day after the blood moons eclipse and nothing significant has happened in terms of end time Bible prophecy. And nothing significant will happen because I believe this blood moons phenomenon is nothing more than a fraud contrived in order to persuade gullible Christians to hand over their hard earned money to a couple of swindlers. If you have fallen for this deception, don't feel bad about it. Just move on and learn from it. We all make mistakes sometimes, but the important thing is that we learn from those mistakes. Also, study your Bible so that you don't get tricked by every individual who claims to be a Christian who just wants to sell you a story and con you out of your money. And once you realize this is the case, stop following those individuals. 
Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 22 puts it this way, When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. If you really want to know what the Bible teaches and how you can prepare for the end times, check out the link to the free online Bible study guides in the description box. They have been a great help to me and I'm sure they'll be a blessing to you too. Thank you for watching. God bless.